Hello, my name is Christy. I am a witch and I am leaving very soon. <laughs> I am going on a little road trip this weekend, so I thought that I would show you what I am packing with me and give you some traveling witch tips. I don't have a whole lot of time to edit, so I'm going to try to do this in one shot as much as possible. <laughs> Tip number one, you don't actually need to bring anything with you that is witchy. Not having your tarot cards or crystals shoved into your pockets does not invalidate your witchiness. You are still valid. You can just pack a normal bag if that's what you wanna do. If you are closeted, if you are traveling super, super lightweight and you don't wanna bring anything extra with you, you don't need to. Tip number two, plan for the trip that you're going on. If you're going through security checks or TSA, make sure that anything that you're bringing with you is allowed and not going to flag you down for being suspicious or force you to throw them away. For example, I would not bring like a sealed jar through a security check, um, like a spell jar, because it's a bottle of mystery herbs and it, I get it. I get why I wouldn't be allowed to take that through security. <laughs> That said, if you're going on like a road trip and you're not going to be going through any sort of customs or anything like that that you have to worry about, then you can go ahead and take stuff with you. Tip number three, bring anything that you feel like you would realistically use. So figure out what is most important to you and try to strip that down to as little as possible for packing and weight and ease of travel. And tip number four, if you are going to be going somewhere for a longer period of time, uh, consider where you're going and what sort of items or resources you will have available to you there. You can probably pick up candles from the dollar store or salt packets from the restaurant that you went to. You can find ways to acquire items either cheap or free while you're out at some locations. So always keep that in mind too. And I will show you what I am bringing with me that I guess falls under the witchy umbrella, things that I felt like were important for me to take with me and why I felt like they were important. It's like those what's in my bag videos. I miss those. People don't really make those anymore. It's a throw, but that's a YouTube throwback. But I have this little mini version of the black goop from my protection vlog video. I sealed it with hot glue instead of wax so that it would be super, super sealed up because I don't want it to leak anywhere. Um, and if you wanna know what's in that, go watch my protection, protection vlog video because I have that recipe. The point of this is to absorb any negativity on the road. And if I am starting to feel the bummers because I might, you just give it a little shake and you can just hold it and it'll make you feel better. The next thing that I'm taking with me are uh, something that I take with me literally every time I leave the house and that is warding amulets. I uh, always either wear them or have them on my bag. They don't have to be this obvious and I also have a whole video on that. So if you wanna know how I make those, um, I have a video there, but I will be taking probably these and I also have some on my bag. So I will be taking another evil eye, hand sanitizer and a bell. If I'm not taking anything else, I would be taking these with me. I made a tiny travel altar like many people do. I put it in this little um, Ouija board mint box. Of course, if you have a specific um, practice for a pantheon or deity or path or culture, um, yours is going to look different than mine. The main things that I wanted to carry with me are my pendulum, my D20, and my uh, spell jar. I made this one because I am going on the road. I'm not going to be going through security and I won't be bringing it with me anywhere that I need to go through security. So I made a safe travels spell jar. I took like a jewelry foam from like a jewelry box and I cut it to hold my pendulum in there. And then I also have a little um, book charm because it's cute. Um, this is supposed to be representative of like a little altar space just so that I feel like uh, I have a space to work in if I needed to. And the only crystal that I'm taking with me that is not going to be in my ears because I usually wear stone pl plugs and I'm going to switch to rose quartz um, so that I feel a little bit of self-love and a little bit of self-care because this is my first trip in a very long time aside from like going to Disneyland. Um, so I just need to be a little gentle on myself. <laughs> and I'm also going to be taking this little uh, tiger's eye heart with me. I'm going to need some grounding and some strength along the way. And I also, in the um, 
sides of this little tin, shoved some petition papers, and I have a pen in my bag, so if I need to, I have these ready to go. Again, this is something that, like if you're staying in a hotel, you can probably just get the notepad and paper there, um, but you know, I like to be prepared. I also have a coffin nail, also for protection. I just needed something iron in my bag. You can charge your sunscreens with extra protection and you can draw them on your skin in sigils. And my final witch travel tip is just do whatever feels the most comfortable to you. If you cannot imagine going anywhere without your tarot cards, bring your tarot cards. If it's something that is going to give you anxiety and panic you, traveling, especially right now in this climate, is already terrifying. Um, I'm going to be bringing a whole bag full of masks and uh, hand sanitizer with me and sunscreen. So protect yourselves, protect your energy, and be safe out there. And this is very quick, and I hope that I can get it up before I have to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.